Today we are headed downtown Playa del Carmen. We are in search of a condo for the month of March. So I wanted to bring you guys along just to show you what Playa has to offer. We are looking for a two bedroom, two bath family of four. If you are thinking about coming to Mexico, especially in Playa del Carmen, because that's where we are, I want to show you what you can get for your money. This is way bigger than what we have. <laughs> wow. This building is definitely older. Now we've just kind of went across the street to see if there's anything here because we kind of like this building. So I'm pretty excited. I've never really condo shopped um, like we have in the past here. So a few days ago, Jay and I went downtown and we kind of searched the area, just kind of walked through and saw if there was any for rent signs. We went in and talked to the people. And I have found that through our searching, Jay is the searcher to be truthful. He searches and searches and searches everywhere. But Marketplace has been the better place to shop for places here in Playa del Carmen. We have found that Airbnb has gone crazy expensive. And I don't know about you, if you have been here for a long time in Mexico or travel consistently to Mexico, I wanna know, am I in sticker shock from Thailand and Malaysia? I have no idea. And I know you can't compare Thailand and Malaysia to Mexico. And I know this is Playa del Carmen. It's an expensive location. This is prime season to come. I know a lot of Americans and Canadians love to come and enjoy the beautiful sunshine. But I want to know, is it just me? Am I in sticker shock or have the prices actually gone up in Mexico? Please leave me a comment. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Hopefully this video will help you maybe understand a little bit more what the housing is like in Mexico. And if you're wanting to come to Mexico, what you can get for your money. Let's hop on a bus because we're using public transit and go downtown. I think we're gonna be late for our first appointment. Those that know me know I hate being late. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh well, what can you do? Calais 26 and 1st is where we're headed to our first appointment. She was very specific on what time we needed to meet her at 11.55. Not 12, 11.55. I think we're gonna be there at 11.57, Jay says. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're like really trekking it to get there. One thing I know for sure, we are gonna find some good eats today. We will definitely take you guys along and see what we find. We're not 100% tacoed out, but we like to find something a little bit different. Okay, I think we found it. I'm not sure if we're late. Are we late, Jay? What time is it? Whew, just in time. Yes, I think we found our lady. So we stopped by this place the other day and thought this pool was really small, but once you actually get here, it's very crisp and clean <laughs> pool, and it's definitely uh, big enough to cool off. It's all right now, they're just cleaning, but uh, this is way bigger than what we have. <laughs> wow. Oh my, look how far it goes. Yeah. And where is the closest like um, grocery store? And you have Mega. Yes. Uh, Soriano over, over there. there. Yeah. 30 in, 30 and in. and then you have Oxo over there. Okay. So, that's that's okay. Yeah. So this yeah. Probably, she probably is a lot closer than Walmart. So yeah. Let's go to that. Yeah. On to the next one. So we're going up are you heading, from, heading up are you to tenth. <laughs> Shea waffle. Two for ones on Thursday. We gotta check it out. And I haven't even talked about all the street art here. I absolutely love it. Everywhere, and it's beautiful and bright and colorful. Wow. Love street art. I'm Carlos first. Oh. And then Rodrigo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. This one is definitely more modern. It's a um, smaller space. It's long and narrow and it's right on a busy street, so it's a little bit loud. Um, and in this 
bedroom that would probably be Jay and I's bedroom. There's two beds. You could, they say you could push them together, but then there'd be a gap in between. So if you can see that little <laughs> board there, there'd be a gap. So that wouldn't work. And the bedrooms are back to back. Each bedroom has a bathroom, which is nice. And then they have, it's a two and a half bath. So it's just a half bath out in just the main area, which is nice. There is a washer here as well. Decent sized kitchen, everything you need as far as your microwave. There is a water dispenser in the refrigerator, bar stools, nice area to sit and have breakfast. And a great big TV, lots of natural light. Very, very modern. It's a nice unit. So two down. So the first one, we're gonna call that number one because it's on one. So that was the older style, big space. Number two is the modern one that we went to see now. And then now we are on our way back to 10th. Calais 10 Biz is where we're headed to now. Just as we are walking down 10, they are erecting this huge like pavilion stage for Carnival. And I think that starts on the 14th from what I've been reading and they have events every day for like a week and presumably the Black Eyed Peas are supposed to come and play but I don't really know if they've ever confirmed if they are actually gonna, gonna play or not. When we first came here there was nothing in this park and now there's like tents and big booms with like lots of lights and it's gonna be a happening place down here for sure. Now we can take our time, we don't have to rush. We don't have any appointments for the rest of the day. When we get there, we get there. So yeah, the modern one is very convenient. It's close to a shopping mall, there's a subway, there's 7-Eleven Oxos close by. So, both of them are in a good area, I think, because the shopping mall isn't far from one either, really. No, no super cheap so, route. And yes, the shopping, the grocery stores are close by the super shadrawi. <laughs> still, a t still a tongue to twister for me. And we still haven't found Good Eats yet, but we will after uh, we get past our next appointment. We'll sit down and have a drink and hash this out. So the condo that we're going to see is literally one block away from the main stage for the carnival. So it might be a little loud. I don't know. I don't know this area very well. We shall see. We won't be here during carnival, which is good. So it won't be that loud for us but for other people it might be <laughs> okay so we are here so this is where we came the other day Jay and I walked around and stopped in and seen Israel and he told us to come back today to meet him so she just called him and he's supposed to meet us here so we are just waiting So this unit is a very big, big kitchen, two bath, two bedrooms that are separated. The one bedroom has a bathroom inside it, but lots of closet space. Now every condo that we've saw today has been changed over so it's not clean and pristine and beautiful. Yeah, huge kitchen. They have a washer and a dryer here and they have access to the rooftop pool, which I will show you in a minute. They have a cute little balcony and just the rooms are huge. Beds are huge, big bathroom. Wow, we're gonna go up to the rooftop. It's funny, because it's a stairwell right into the apartment. <laughs> and it's itty bitty door. So, oh. Yeah, so it doesn't, it's not, go, it doesn't go to the pool, the rooftop access. You just have access to the roof so you can Take a look, see, see what's going on. Hmm. This building is definitely older, for sure. So we're gonna go and check the pool out. Okay, <laughs> this way is the way to the pool. <laughs> up a couple flights of stairs, okay. Oh, so the pool is like right here, as soon as you get off the stairs. Whoa, don't splash me. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about this pool is that there are chairs around it. At our condo that we're at now, there is no chairs really around the pool. So I do like it that you can kind of like, can't quite see the water from this rooftop, but you can kind of check out the area and see what's going on. It looks like the pool needs to be cleaned a little bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe nobody uses it, I don't know. 
Thank you very Thank much you. for your time, Thank Israel. You. So apartment number three, or condo number three, we're gonna call that the rusty pool. So we have our first one, which was number one, two, which was the modern one, and three, the rusty pool. Now we've just kind of went across the street to see if there's anything here, because we kind of like this building. We will see. Okay, so no luck there. They only do short-term rentals, no long-term rentals. So I think it's time to find some eats. Hey, Jay? Yeah, let's go find something good to eat. Red or green sauce? Ooh, green sauce. Of course. It smells like jalapeno. Ooh, that's a lot. Muy, muy caliente. <laughs> okay. How good does that look? Mm. So yummy. All right, so lunch was delicious. It was four fajitas, chips and guac, and they brought out like three, two different sauces. One was green, one was red. The green one I think was like habanero or something hot. My lips are still on fire. The, the red one, I didn't really taste a whole lot from the red one, and then they had pico de gallo. So all of that was 17 Canadian, which I didn't think was too, too bad, and a Coke in a bottle. My favorite. So we're just headed back to Fifth Ave. We're gonna walk around. Our next apartment viewing isn't for a little bit. So we're gonna check out Fifth Ave, show you guys around. not loving the sargasm season that is for sure like the first 20 feet of the water is like brown and gucky I want it to be nice and blue and clear yeah they do try and clean it up but and it's been windy <laughs> goes on forever you could walk and walk and walk and see all the shops and see them all again four or five times there's so many shops on fifth ave it's very touristy not really our kind of place it's nice to just kind of like sit and people watch though it's fun the one thing that we are going to do before we leave mexico is do a tequila tasting you can't be in mexico and not do the tequila tasting because they have so many different flavors like chocolate tequila, mango tequila. We have coffee tequila back home, so I've tried that, but they have all different kinds of flavors. <laughs> tequila is definitely on the list. Okay, so we are headed to our fourth and final condo viewing for the day. So far, each one has its little, hasn't ticked all the boxes, unfortunately. So we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that this one will do the trick. So our fourth condo, we're gonna call 
the Michigan condo because they're from Michigan. And it's only they, an hour away from us. Yes, it's only an hour away from where we live back home. So, so yeah. And the only thing it didn't have was a washing machine or a laundry service, but right here on the corner, we just walked down from it and there's a laundry service right here. So that's kind of convenient. I mean, not as convenient as having it in your own unit, but there is construction, but they're further down the street from uh, where the construction is. So it does take a lot of boxes for sure. And it has the separated bedrooms that we wanted. It's the good price range. That one was 35,000 pesos for the five weeks that we need it. So that one's, I think, out of all of them, the cheapest one, right, babe? Uh, a little yeah. bit less, yeah. 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 All right, so we're gonna do some more walking around, hit the bus, and head home. Oh, we found dessert. <laughs> a much needed dessert after a four condo tour of the day. Oh my God, I don't even know how to say this. Marquesitas? Marquesitas? Marquesitas. Marquesitas. <laughs> okay. All right, so. All right. This comes highly recommended from our friends at Beach Bumbling. Karen and Eric say, Yay! if you're in Mexico, you got to try these. I want the caramel one. <laughs> yeah, but what was the Nutella? Banana, Nutella, and and Santa. Oh my god. Guys, you were right. It's delicious. <laughs> so good, eh? I didn't expect the caramel, it to be crunchy. The caramel's like dripping out of it, but the, well, the waffle part is just completely crispy. It's good. <laughs> so good. So good. Well, I was hoping that one out of that four condos that we looked at was gonna check off all the boxes, but no. <laughs> so I think the search is still on for a condo for us for March into April. And if you are coming to Mexico and play Del Carmen, hopefully this will give you a little bit of an idea of what you can kind of get in that budget range downtown close to fifth ave and all the walkable areas with the shops and the grocery stores and everything if you found it helpful give me a big thumbs up we'll see you in the next one guys bye